poem, you know, like on some schizophrenic shit, you know, be like zombies walking these ghetto streets. Stuck between a dime rock and a hard place with a constant sting in their pin cushion arm searching for what they think is God. Yeah. Or maybe that's what they call them when they're without going through withdrawals, curled in the corner, shitting, shivering, and shaking in desperate need of a deliverer. Mm. Someone to deliver that cold cut, coke white, so they could put in that pipe and feel whole again. Mm. Got a light? Now realizing that God is the light and what you truly seek is fire, they blaze away. After each puff, each dream fades away. Clenched in the devil's fist, and if you ain't quick to slit his wrist and make way, it might be hell to pay. Got a light. Asked by a block monster with a mouth full of rocks who woke up early that morning to cast the first stone. As if he never seen it. But he's living in the shadow of Adam, where the fast cars, jewels, drugs, and guns are all fruits from the forbidden tree. Just simply trying to impress Eve. Who quickly turned to Jezebel because Adam went to jail and couldn't raise Cain and Abel by herself. So sex is what she had to sell. And I, just like her, is wrapped up in this world in the darkness and deceit. Speak on it. I'm praying for strength, but I feel so weak. Yeah. I'm trying to get the victory, but I feel so close to defeat. And I can't call on my mother because she got her own demons she fighting. I can't call on my father because he got his own demons he fighting. I can't call on my sister nor brothers because they got their own demons they fighting. And I try to stay in the light, but the darkness seems so inviting and I feel like not fighting. Anymore. Got a light? <laughs> Not realizing that God is the light. I'm fighting demons on the daily, but keeping my faith is the fight. And I stay wrestling with the world, but it got me in a chokehold so tight while I'm out there committing wrongs trying to justify it's right. You know, I ain't even thankful for the little things like ears and hear and eyes for sight. Until I woke up deaf and in darkness, begging for some light. <laughs> If I could fly, take your hand and glide through the sky and lie on a cloud and scream loud that I love you. Do anything for you if you give me the chance to romance and hold your hand and dance, if you will, to a song you couldn't write, you just have to feel. See, your love gives my heart so much cheer. So if loving you was a crime, I'd be doing two consecutive lives, which means if I die twice, I got to come back and do three more years. <laughs> and if you left, I'd cry dry tears. But move on and think about what went wrong. Was it you or was it I? Because if it was I, if I could try to be the type of guy that'll never let the love river drop. Never let the soul of love die. Just looking in your eyes got me high. Just speaking your name got me buzzed. Baby, we better than a fortune, more intoxicated than any type of drug. I just thank the Lord above that I found love. And you and my sister, shit, I don't even know why I'm talking. Action screams while words just whisper. See, I just want to hold you and kiss you. Let you know that I love you and miss you. I can sit for hours and look at your picture. As if I was locked in a cell. But I'm not. I'm free. The thoughts of loving you and you loving me and you will always be in love. But then you ask me silly questions like, what do I really want? And I reply, well, I want us to be so close where I can inhale your exhale. Taking me down the hallway of intoxication. You know, I want to, I want to relax you to the point of levitation, and now we both getting high and high. I want to be your right bitch, quenching your every thirst. And I promise I won't hurt you, baby. But I can't promise I won't work you, baby. <laughs> I mean, shit, I just want to get with you. What do I want? I mean, I think it's obvious with this pain press against you. I want to be in your head. <laughs> Mentally, of course. Because physically, I'm forced to make you feel me. You feel me? Now, I want you to feel me to the point where your legs start to shake and the pearls start pulsating. You reaching for shit that ain't even there. Oh, we fucking on bare mattress because you 
you refuse to let the sheets go. <laughs> See, when these rough hands touch your soft skin, I promise we gonna blend into something so gangster. And if I ever meet your mama, I'ma thank her for creating something so wonderfully major now, minor. Hopefully this pen and pad will help me find the meanings to these words, the feelings of this urge to be near you. Through the night, 
Should I sit back and look at my life? Think am I living it right? Dealing with niggas that's living in trife? Dealing with smokers that step on the pipe? Trying to run game and hoping she bite? Selling her body through the death of the night? Drunk in the club and ready to fight? Scared as fuck in the red and blue light. They pulling me over. What is your name? Parole and probation. They both in the same. They got me in cuffs. I ain't even charged. They searching my body. They searching my car. How far will they go? I mean, shit, I haven't even did no dirt. But I have a phone. I'm on paperwork. Five year felony with a four way search. Three more to go and it's too much hurt. One way to know if I'm living it right. Just to sit back and look at my life. Wow. Now, I'm going to tell y'all something. In this life, I don't know if y'all religious beliefs or however it is, but I've been through a whole transition. Because when I was younger, I was nothing like the man you see right now. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like you would never think I'd be on stage. You That's know, right. Trying to, you feel me? I was more like, huh? Oh, <laughs> you know, little shit like that. And the thing is, is like people are influence you, and that goes for you older people. People influence you. You influence somebody. You don't even know it because yeah. of your actions. Yeah. Like I'm gonna be real with you. That that one split. Like when I was doing this, and I didn't know where I was gonna be. And guess who I ran into? I ran into Frank, the chairman. I ran into Mark G back there. <coughs> feeling we was going through a hollow back over there. I ran through a vibe chair. I was like, you remember, I was young when I met you, you know? I was like 17, you know? And I was like, this. But I was hearing what they were spitting, and I was like, I'm like, oh, they spitting truth. So, you know, I'm like, you know, I try to read something and then put that in the poem. No, no, I'm spitting truth too. Black man, it was a revolution out there. You feel me? But it was there. But I couldn't, I couldn't be like black power and still sell it dope to my black people. That's right. You feel me? And then, so, you know, that's what I started learning was, you know, when it comes to spoken word of poetry, you write your truth. That's right, that's right. That's right. And, then, and then the rights become the wrongs once you start hearing yourself. And you know, like they say, uh, you speak it into existence. Right. So if it's the power in the tongue, if you think it, that's why you gotta guard your mind from your thoughts. You ever heard somebody, oh, don't think like that. That's right. Yeah. Them thoughts in your mind, boom, block it, bam, bam, let me get up out of here. <laughs> Because it's power in the yeah. exactly yeah. right. So I'm about to put some power out there, right? Yeah. I'm about to put some real power because the power in the tongue when you speak it happens. Yeah. You feel me? Yeah. You feel me? Yeah. When I speak it happens. Yeah. When you speak it happens, right? That's right? I'm about to speak it right now. I'm about to go to the car while the hairline are up there, and I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna have a bag of DVDs, and y'all gonna buy it. <laughs> Y'all follow me, all right? I'm about to go get it. I'm 